What's up guys? I'm currently at the Yangzhou Railway Station and I'm taking a 10 hour overnight sleeper train to Beijing. Let me show you what that's like. Super interesting so far. The bunks are actually three to a side and I am on the top so I gotta climb all the way up to get to my part. <laughs> So being up on the top bunk, there's barely even room to sit up in here. Oh, super comfy. We have some storage up here for our bags. Pretty nice. But all right, it's time to catch some sleep. Hopefully I can sleep through the night and when I wake up, I'm going to be in Beijing, China. Good morning from Beijing. We slept all night and now we're ready to go. 7.30 in the morning. Now we can't check into our hotel until like 2 p.m. So our first destination we're gonna go to is the Summer Palace. But first, coffee. What's up guys? So we're at the entrance of the Summer Palace right now. And uh, it's important to note when you're traveling to Beijing that there are five major attractions you should see. That being the Great Wall, the Summer Palace, the Temple of Heaven, the Forbidden City, and Tiananmen Square. We're doing the Great Wall tomorrow, so we're going to try and do all the other ones today. See how it works out. We were just blown away because the tickets, <laughs> for one ticket costs $3 to get in. So cheap. To this big palace. a steep walk up these rocks to the top of the palace. Not even up to the top yet. We're already seeing awesome sights of the city in the background. Really cool. <laughs> Out of breath. that it's called the Summer Palace when it's about zero degrees out here. It's freezing. <laughs> There it is, the biggest and coolest part of the palace. She thought the views were pretty. I thought she was prettier. <laughs> all right, so all the way out there in the water, there's an awesome island in the middle of it, and that gives you the best views of the palace on the mountainside. So that's where we're headed. All the way out there. All right, we are walking across the bridge onto the island now. Are you guys ready for the iconic views? <laughs> Summer Palace is hands down a must see in Beijing. Glad we came here first, but I honestly could spend like five hours here. But it's time to move on, get some lunch, and see our next site. And our next stop is Tiananmen Square. Taking a subway there now. Okay. So there he is. 
selfie game strong. Honestly, after learning so much about this place and seeing it all the time in history books and in photos, it's super surreal to be somewhere like this. It's incredible. Rub the golden door now for luck. Pro China tip, a lot of things are closed on Mondays, even the Forbidden City. So if you want to see it, come on literally any other day of the week. Well, we just finished up in the Forbidden City area, and now we're actually going to go check into our hotel room before heading to our next destination, the Temple of Heaven. See you there. And we're back. So we just got off the subway to the Temple of Heaven, and uh, another Pro China tip is that they don't do daylight savings. So in the winter time, it gets dark really early. It's only like 4.15 right now, but the sun's already setting. So we're trying to beat the sun and get to the Temple of Heaven. And it's cold. And it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> so this temple is not just a temple. There's actually a huge park and a garden surrounding the entire thing. It's really peaceful, really awesome here. Well, the bad news is that we got here too late and we actually can't go into the temple. But the good news is we still have these awesome views from the surrounding gardens. So if you take one thing from this video, it's that if you want to see everything in Beijing, you need at least two to three days. Can't do it all in one because it closes early, especially in the winter. So things are wrapping up at the Temple of Heaven, and now we're gonna go grab some dinner. Now, uh, where we live in China, you can't really get a lot of different cultures of food, so today, we're gonna get Mexican food. You know what they say, one in Beijing. Get your Mexican. <laughs> hey, what are we doing tomorrow? Hiking that Great Wall. <laughs> get a very nice rest, because we're getting up at 6 a.m. to go to the Great Wall of China. Keep a lookout for the next video. Hey, look guys, there's actually a restaurant named after me. So nice of them. Mm -hmm. 